Hey everyone, this is Tim Bowsty for weather.com and I want to provide you a quick video weather briefing of the current and ongoing uh, flood situation across the mid-Mississippi and the Ohio Valley. I want to provide you some of the details of what we've seen so far and what we can expect in the coming days as this flood situation only looks to get worse as we head through this final week, uh, full week of April. So let's first take a look and see what has fallen, how much rain has fallen over the past 30 days. And this is what that, this map shows. Um, this purple area right here that stretches from Missouri all the way to southern Ohio shows um, rainfall amounts of 10 to 15 inches of rain. And if you even look a little bit closer, you can see there's some blue areas right here, these purplish blue areas. And that indicates rainfall amounts of above 15 inches of rain here in southeastern Indiana and northern Kentucky. And you can see this is all falling. This rain has all fallen along the Ohio River and where it again merges with the Mississippi. And it's this area right here where we're already seeing flooding beginning to happen, not only in the rivers themselves, but also some lowland flooding across even some of these interior areas of the Ohio Valley and the mid-Mississippi um, mid Valley. So here's some of the pictures that we've seen so far. And this is a picture that was taken back on April 21st. And you can see how swollen the Ohio River looks like. And some of this, the water from the Ohio River kind of seeping um, to the left and seeping into the right into some of the, um, the, uh, the adjacent lowland areas. Here's another picture of the Ohio River. And notice that it's already we're seeing these types of pictures of water getting closer, not only closer, but coming into residential areas, which you, as you can see in this picture. And finally, I want to show you this YouTube video, which shows, you can see in this, we play it here real quick, sort of this expansive, this, you know, you can really get a feel of how swollen the Ohio River is. This is out of Louisville, Kentucky. And if you can match this picture right here, and notice, if you can imagine, this is sort of like a ladder, and there's one rung here. But if you compare it to a Google Maps picture, Street View, the same bridge, and you can see there's not only one rung, but there's two rungs, which tells us that the water of the Ohio River has now even reached a farther, uh, reached above this second rung right here. And it gives you a better idea of how bloated really the Ohio River is right now, especially here in Louisville. And what can we expect in the coming days? Well, not really that much good news is coming out of here. This boundary that's been in place for several days now um, it's really it's a stationary boundary that stretches along the Ohio Valley and then back south and towards the South Central Plains. It has been in place for many days now and we're going to be seeing wave after wave of low pressure produce um, rain, heavy rain, and some thunderstorms, much of it will be severe. And so this is Monday and you move to Tuesday, boom, another area of rain and heavy thunderstorms. Move to Wednesday. Not much has changed. Another wave of low pressure develops. And we're going to be seeing the same area, see more heavy rain um, on Wednesday. It's not until Thursday that we're finally going to see that whole area, that whole system push to the east. And we're finally going to get a catch a break with um, some dry conditions as we get into the end of the week. Meanwhile, here on the east coast, we'll probably see some severe weather up and down the 95 corridor from Savannah, Georgia, all the way up towards, say, New York City. So it's going to get a little interesting as we get to the East Coast on Thursday. So how much rain out of all that are we expecting? Well, this is an incredible amount. When you see oranges, yellows, and browns here, this indicates rainfall amounts of 4 to 8, maybe even 9 inches of rain from the Mid-Mississippi Valley, parts of the Southern Plains, and then north and east along the Ohio River back into Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. So just an incredible amount of rain that we're expecting within the next five days. How about rainfall gauges? Lots of rainfall gauges are at minor to moderate, which is indicated by the orange and reds. Even some rivers are now reporting major flood stage in parts of the Ohio Valley and the Mid-Mississippi Valley. And we'll probably only see the, those numbers grow in the coming days. At weather.com, go to our homepage, and you're able to click on a flood tracker. And this flood tracker will give you good, um, quick links to our radar maps, our interactive map, and maybe if you like the classic map, we have our classic view right here. And then finally, also some pre precipitation forecast that goes out to 48 hours. And also, of course, our flood warnings and watches. So you can always keep on top of what's the latest uh, warning and if, or if you're under a watch too, a, f a flood watch or a flash flood watch. So we have some really good stuff to help you um, stay on top of the flood situation. All right. Uh, for now, we'll stick it to, uh, you know, stay tuned to Weather Channel and also here at weather.com. We'll give you the latest and what to expect in the coming days. All right. For now, I'm Tim Ballastia for weather.com.